Hello and welcome to an update of tropical cyclone Fetai that is approaching the east coast of India. It's expected to slightly weaken before making landfall, but still represents a lot of danger for all the people that live in the east coast of India and of course many parts in the north of Sri Lanka as well. This tropical cyclone Fetai is sustaining winds of 100 km per hour and a pressure of 996 millibars. Its location is approximately at 13.9 degrees uh, north and 82.1 degrees Decrease east. This is the. These are the coordinates about the approximate location of this tropical cyclone, and this system is really, really, really close uh, to India. There are some locations that are over warnings for the effects of, or possible effects that uh, may will feel uh, uh, about this tropical cyclone. This. Uh, these locations include Trin Komali, Sri Lanka, that is about 500 and kilo, uh, 520 kilometers north northeast of that location, 380 kilometers east southeast of Chennai, that is in Tamil Nadu, and 490 kilometers south southeast of Makilipatnam in Andhra Pradesh. So these locations are the main. Uh, parts where the conditions of tropical storm could feel uh, probably now or in the next hours um, in the approach of this tropical cyclone that it's uh, taking some intensity a little bit but is expected to weaken before making landfall in the east coast of India in the next day possibly. You can see the wind shear levels uh, that are very low uh, over Fetai, which in which this means that has anything to intensify further. Any uh, this system will not have any struggles about intensifying, uh, and of course it's decreasing because you can see the pointing lines. So this means that the wind shear is decreasing and you can see a little bit of color blue and green which is in the case moderate to low, uh, to low sorry, um, wind shear levels. But about the sea surface temperatures there is a different story because the sea surface temperatures are decreasing in the path of the type. There's marginal uh, sea surface temperatures 26 or 27 degrees Celsius, which is enough to maintain a tropical cyclone of this intensity. But the interaction with land possibly is it's going to be the main reason of why Fetai is expected to weaken a little bit before making landfall but still it's a very dangerous system it has winds of 100 km per hour and of course the coast of uh, many parts in the coast east or in the east coast of India sorry and Sri Lanka as well uh, should monitor very very close the system because it's going to be a very rough moment for the people that lives there. Thanks a lot for watching the update of Tropical Cyclone Fetai. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. Of course you can follow us on our Facebook, our Twitter and if you want to uh, keep in contact with us just send a message uh, to Nathan via Skype as Force 13 or on Discord as Full 13 with the extension 9094 on Discord. And don't remember as well that if you want to keep this project uh, growing, uh, of course, it's going to be a very, very uh, positive uh, contribution if you donate us some money to patreon you can uh, click the link below to see the benefits that being a patreon uh, after donating us some money of course to bring you a lot of information and better content in this platform thanks a lot for watching see you later and of course take care